Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Madison and today I want to take you on a tour of a really cool nursery in town in Fort Collins, Colorado called the Bath Garden Center and Nursery. They always have tons of cool stuff and it's pretty darn big on the inside. So we're going to try and make it like all the way around. So let's head out and see what they have. Okay, here we are inside the Bath Garden Center and Nursery. This is split into two separate parts. So right now we are in the right side. And first things first, they have a massive colocasia, but we'll come back to that. Let's start over here. They have a bunch of like four inch pots. I believe these were, they've got a ton of beautiful Brazil, this like random purple sword alocasia and a bunch of philodendron. I'm not really sure what this little guy was. Um, I don't think it had a name on there, just like philodendron assorted or something, but it's beautiful. Kind of a cr creepy crawly kind of a plant. Or maybe it would trail? I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen this kind of philodendron before, but it's kind of funky, kind of cool. We've got some really nice like Prince of Orange it looks like, and Green Goddess maybe. And then, ooh, it says dare to be rare. So we are in the kind of rare plant section. We have some beautiful um, hanging string of hearts. Looks like variegated string of hearts, actually. They are beautiful. I want to say those are pretty expensive. They were, I believe, over $100. Um, and then we've got a ton of different alocasia here. So these look like some little baby regal shields. Those are so cool. They get humongous. And then some tiny dancer. Um, those, I mean, they're pretty cool. They're okay. This guy is so cool. I don't know what that is. I want to say it's like the Ivory Coast or something like that. Yes, that is the Ivory Coast. And I think it was like $23 or something like that. Oh, it's so pretty. That has got an awesome leaf shape. It looks very similar to the pink dragon just because it has those pink petioles, but definitely a much different leaf shape. That is so cool. They're kind of squatty, but also really pointy. I just dig it. And then we've got some prayer plants here, some Calathea, or I think formerly Calathea and now mostly Capertia. Oh, look at this little guy. It's like a Quilted Dreams or Sinuata or something like that, Alocasia. Absolutely beautiful for $50 for that little guy. It's so cute. They have some Alocasia Bambino. Those are adorable. I love the leaf shape on those. I have one of these guys. This one is, I think $25. Um, so a pretty good price on those, but I will say you can totally find those at your big box stores for a little bit less, but it's always nice to support your local nurseries. And look at this little cutie. They've got a philodendron silver sword or philodendron hostatum. Those are gorgeous. And I wanna say those were like 40 or $50. Got some really cool different ficus. Looks like we are now in the kind of ficus section. One thing I really like about this nursery is they do tend to kind of keep, um, you know, d different genuses together, which I really enjoy, or similar genuses together, I guess I should say. So we've got like a bunch of ivy and different peperomia and stuff like that. Look at how pretty the leaves on that one. Oh, it's huge. Those are so cool. Okay, and then over here we've got more like Diefenbachia. Oh, even more of the Silver Sword Philodendron. Those are beautiful. I kind of like that they're in the little hanging pot too. I, you don't usually see those in a hanging pot. It's kind of cool. We've got some more Alocasia. I don't know what that one is. Oh, another Sinuata. Look at this guy. Okay. Wow, look at that leaf. I love the texture and the color. It's beautiful. There's so much depth to that leaf. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And another pretty alocasia or maybe colocasia. It just says, it says it's an alocasia for $25. Absolutely beautiful though. And some more regal shields. Those get huge. <laughs> And then, okay, I am not into crotons, but look at this. $10 and it's got purple on it. Like what the heck? I don't know that I've ever seen like a really deep purple croton before. It's pretty cool. Still not my jam, but pretty cool. <laughs> We've got a lovely sea of polka dot plants, mostly the pink ones with a little bit of white thrown in and a little bit of red and beautiful um, Orphidophora decursiva or dragon's tail pothos they're sometimes called. 
It's so cool to see how much the price has come down on those plants. It's wild. And then we've got some cute little baby banana plants. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. They have such a cool variety here. I absolutely love it. Look at this. Really, really cool. Uh, Dracaena, maybe? And then that, I think, is a Hawaiian spider plant. It is so cool. I've never seen a spider plant quite like this one. I was really, really tempted to bring that one home. But, oh, man. Once I have more space. I love the color on this one. It's almost kind of got a bluey hue to it. Absolutely gorgeous. I did not do a very good job of like picking the plants up and seeing the names of plants I wasn't sure of. So I'm really sorry. Um, I will get better. I will get better at this. <laughs> Look at these little cuties. Oh my goodness. So stinking cute. I don't know what this is. Some sort of little um, ficus it looks like. It almost looks like it was getting little uh, fruits on there. And then, ooh, look at these. Okay, I really like this. So they've got a ton of uh, white fusion calathea. They are absolutely stunning. So, so stunning for, I think, $25, oh, $30. There we go. $30 for the white fusion calathea. So pretty, but I love that they have them sitting in trays of water because, oof, these guys are kind of known for being really really finicky and really loving that humidity and liking kind of soggy feet so i love that they are keeping them nice and moist and then look at all of the absolutely perfect 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 lemon lime maranta oh my god look at that oh <laughs> that's so beautiful just a classic classic beauty so lovely for 30 dollars. i mean come on it's like a great size beautiful so beautiful <laughs> okay we are coming over to some more of the like kind of common plants here but still absolutely beautiful we just went past a bunch of pothos and syngonium but you know i have to touch the ferns because they're so soft so this is an asparagus fern I need to enunciate better. This is an asparagus fern. <laughs> They're so lovely. I have never owned one of those, but I dream about it. I absolutely dream about it. And then look at that. Oh my goodness. I wanna say this is like a silver lace fern or something like that. It's absolutely stunning. And they have some cute, um, what are those? What are those called? I can't think of the name, but I'll put it on the screen. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and this is a beautiful crocodile fern. So cool looking. Ooh, look at that. Absolutely stunning. That is so cool. And I want to say those were like $36 or $40, something, something like that. Nothing too, too outrageous. But their fern selection is amazing. Such cool stuff. It really just like brings me back home to Washington a little bit when I get to look through all the different ferns. Look at how cute. So this is a smaller version of that crocodile fern. So amazing choice to just kind of bring into your home to try it. Oh, and they have a sign too, if you buy a plant and a pot, they will pot it up for you in store for free. So that's always nice. I think a lot of nurseries do that, which is just lovely. Really takes a step out of something for you or if you're like getting a whole situation for a friend. Okay, look at this fern. I don't know what the heck this is, but are you seeing that color? That is not a trick. I'm not playing tricks on you. Look at that color. It's a rainbow. Oh my goodness. I was seriously so mesmerized by this plant in the store for, oh, way long. Okay, there's the name of it. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but wow, is that absolutely beautiful. It literally has like almost every single color of the rainbow in it. It's beautiful. <laughs> and then look at this lovely um, Song of India, Dracaena. And we're making our way over to more of the peace plant or peace lilies. I was going to say peace plants. Can you tell I'm like really walking with a limp? 
Look at all of those. They're so lovely. I will say though, if you have a peace lily and you're getting a lot of flowers, um, don't be scared to cut them off because that will just encourage more leaf growth. I've got some beautiful, I think these are pearls in jade or in joy. I don't know if those are even different, but some sort of pretty pothos. And they have some beautiful Monstera Deliciosa for only $40. I feel like I said that weird. Monstera Deliciosa. Yeah, for $40 for a really big one. That's awesome. Ooh, look at that. I will never not love a big old regal shield. <laughs> it's so nice. I think that guy was only like 35 or 40 bucks too. Pretty good price for such a big plant if you ask me. And then they have even more alocasia over here. Their alocasia selection was banging, absolutely banging. I will say though, I feel like I did see a good amount of spider mites. So you definitely want to treat any of the plants that you buy from any location. Um, you wanna treat them for pests when you get home, just to be safe and quarantine them if you can, but it's not always possible. So, you know, at least treat them. Oh my gosh, and here we have some really big and beautiful, oh, they it says it's an Aglionema, but I definitely thought that was a Diefenbachia. It is just gorgeous. Look at that color. Oh my gosh. I love the like speckled variegation and how the variegation is like the darker part rather than the lighter part. And then there's a beautiful Silver Bay Aglionema that is just gorgeous. Your classic, classic house plant. I love these stripey guys as well. Aglionema and Diffenbachia are so underrated if you ask me. Like, look at how cool that is. What the heck? So cool and such easy care plants. We've got a beautiful sea of Tratoscantia, Zebrina. They're so lovely. Oh my gosh. I know I just cut back a bunch of mine, but it's always so tempting. <laughs> And I think we're kind of circling back around here to our four inch plants. We've got some really lovely uh, Monstera adansonii that are definitely more of that narrow form. They're so beautiful. I love letting those guys climb. I just had to chop mine back as well. So one day I will restart a climbing adansonii. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> Okay, I think, oh, whoa, hold on. Look at this bad boy. This is an Anthurium Ruffles, I believe. Let's see if I can find a price for you here, cause whoa. Okay, $80, look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, the leaves, just to kind of paint you a picture, the edges are super, super ruffly and very, very thick, like super sturdy. This plant, whatever it is, it looks like it's some sort of Aglionema maybe, but the leaves are very, very thin. It's so pretty. And they've got some more Diefenbachia. So lovely. I feel like Diefenbachia is another, or not Diefenbachia, excuse me, Dracaena is another kind of underrated variety of house plant. <laughs> okay. It is finally time. You're gonna walk through to the other side of the nursery here we kind of go through this whole section of like shopping things they've got like accessories and clothing and pottery and all, all any any and everything that you can think of they have it's pretty cool to shop through and i think they sell a lot of like local um locally made things or local companies okay we have almost made it over there but first a pit stop at this beautiful terrarium that they have set up with some looks like some hoya carnosa and some orchids in there. And now we are on the left side of this nursery. And okay, first off, they're hitting us with some heaters. Look at this beautiful mature silver sword. Looks like for $130. Look at the size. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love the philodendron silver sword uh, leaf shape once it starts to get really mature. It's so cool. And then it looks like we've got some snake plants or 
yeah, snake plants, Sansevieria, Diefenbachia, whatever you want to call them is fine with me. They have like pretty much every variety that you could think of here for snake plants. It's really awesome. This nursery is so huge. They can have such a crazy good variety of things. Um, but it looks like we've got more of the beautifully mature, ugh, look at that. I'm like drooling. Beautifully mature silver swords mixed in with a bunch of like outdoor flowers and arrangements. So let's see what other house plants we can find because I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I don't have a huge area for outdoor plants. I don't have any area for like planting plants outside, um, at least not yet. So we're sticking with house plants and it looks like we've found some Hoya. This is a beautiful Hoya macrophylla, really nice and full. My goodness, so pretty. Those are some really good sized leaves too. And how much are they? Am I gonna see a price? I was so bad at looking at prices here. I was feeling very shy on this day, so I apologize. But look at how beautiful. Even with kind of like a broken leaf, they're so pretty. And then in their clearance section, their like markdown plant section, they've got some really pretty um, calathea here. It looks like for $10, that's gorgeous. So pretty. It's got just like some cosmetic damage, but you could totally just chop off those leaves and it would grow back so fast. And then look at these. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous Hoya Wayetii, super full basket. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. For $50, that seems like a pretty good price. I don't know. I'm still slowly but surely getting into Hoya, but that seems pretty good for such a large basket. And then we've got some Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen with the variegation on like the outer margin of the leaf rather than the inner. So pretty. Okay, so these Hoya baskets are all $35. So those macrophyllas back there that we first saw were also $35. And they have some Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. So pretty. So the princess, of course, has the variegation on the inside. It looks like they're getting some really good sun as well. They're very sun stressed. Okay, hold on. And more alocasia. Oh. A fried egg. I feel like you don't see fried eggs or I don't see fried eggs like out and about very often. Um, I know that's not the technical name for it and I'm sorry I can't remember but wow look at this guy that is an alocasia sarian giant giant leaves. I did not see the price on there I'm so sorry <laughs> but these are so cool. I want to say the alocasia sarian is kind of like a garden plant like if you put that outside in the right um, environment those things can just get super super large and you know live very happily in the correct outdoor environment look at this it's looking a little bit sad a little worse for wear but still so pretty for these alocasia got kind of a sad looking um, alocasia black velvet definitely getting a little too much sun I have a feeling they, along with myself, are having struggles with spider mites right now because, man, yeah, I saw I saw a few spider mites for sure. <laughs> and I guess I did make sure to wash my hands when I got home before I touched any of my plants just to make sure I wasn't like bringing anything home. I'm sure it wouldn't survive that long anyway, but you never know, you know? Okay, and here's another beautiful Hoya macrophylla. They are just gorgeous. And look at those aerial roots. That's so cool. Not, I don't think many or any of my Hoya have thrown any aerial roots like that yet, so that's super cool to see. And then I just have to show you this big guy over here. Look at that. Okay, so this is a massive Hoya carii that's got a ton of blooms and a ton of peduncles, and it's growing on what I think is like a Madagascar palm or something. I could be absolutely wrong, but it is so gorgeous. And I'm going to try and get over here so I can show you some of the um, blooms more up close. Oh my goodness. Look at that. 
I cannot believe how beautiful the blooms are on the Hoya, what is this, Hoya Carry Eye. It's so, so pretty. I did recently get a Hoya Carry Eye, so I am so excited to have blooms one day that look like this. Look at that, oh my gosh. They look like candies. And do you see the kind of like sap that's coming off of some of those flowers? Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, and this is the pot that it's coming from. Do you see how chunky? What? And you can tell like it's definitely getting a lot, a lot of sun because it's, you know, that's the ceiling. So you can see it is pretty open, um, but yeah, it's such a beautiful plant. It's clearly pretty happy because it goes everywhere. And do you see all of the peduncles on there? Oh my goodness. I wonder how that smells at night, you know, because Hoya blooms usually smell strongest at night. So I wonder what those smell like. Let me know if you have one that's bloomed. Let me know what it smells like. And then I spotted another flower over here. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. I think this is some sort of jungle cactus. What is it? Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful jungle cactus. And look at those. That is such a funny looking, kind of phallic looking cactus, but cactus, cactus, but it's so pretty. And they always have like a pretty good cactus selection over in this section of this nursery. So yeah, let's see what else we can find over here. They've got a ton of like little baby succulents and I feel like I'm seeing some Hoya. Yes, we've got some hanging Hoya, some more. <laughs> so this is a beautiful Hoya pubicalyx and you can tell it's getting a lot of sun because look at how silvery the splash is on there. It's like a pinkish silver. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay. Do you see that? How the silvery splash is coming in more pink? That is due, I believe, to higher light. Now, it could also have something to do with genetics, but I want to say it's mostly just to do with light and maybe even heat as well, because it's been pretty hot here. And they've got a pretty good Hoya selection right now. I usually don't see many Hoya in my area, at least at these nurseries. So this is so cool. We've got tons of pubic alex. Look at how sun stressed that is. Oh my goodness. It's so cool. The new leaves are like dark red. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like we've got some more Hoya pubic alex over here. I'm seeing some smaller Hoya macrophylla. Those are just gorgeous. Oh, I love Hoya. They're so cool. Okay, this is beautiful. I want to say that's a Hoya Kentiana variegata. So, so pretty. I love the pink on the leaves and the shape. They almost look like green beans, but you know, not green. <laughs> They're all so pretty. That one's like more creamy and white. They all look so, so different. Look at that. That's like a good looking plant right there. Okay, it looks like we have some smaller um, pots of the like different Hoya that they offer. And then look at this little guy. This is a little teeny tiny Hoya um, Kurtzii or Kurtzii for $20. Super, super tiny little guy, but oh my gosh, that is just beautiful. And it's the only one just sitting there. I wonder how many more they had. <laughs> They're so lovely. I didn't realize how kind of like soft and almost fuzzy those leaves are it's just lovely i think i found the most sun stressed hoya in this store look at this hoya pubicalyx oh my goodness look at that that's so crazy sun stressed this plant is only 35 dollars, and it is a really good size if you ask me like i feel like that's in about a six inch pot and it's so full and bushy and like already starting to trail oh my gosh i am so pleased with their hoya selection Okay, on my way out of the store, I saw this big beauty. Check this out. This is a giant um, vanilla bean orchid. I almost like totally spaced on what this was. But yeah, it's a massive vanilla bean orchid and it is just so beautiful. Like look at the size of this leaf. It's like the size of my hand. That's crazy. 
usually when you see vanilla bean orchids or vanilla orchids, whatever they're called, they're, you know, they're pretty teeny tiny. Like that little guy right there, that's the, you know, that's the usual size of one or this guy here on the trellis. But the one that they have just as like a store plant that just lives at the store is just crazy. And it trails along for so long. Like it's on the opposite side um, as that Hoya um, carrii that we saw earlier. I just can't believe it. It's so beautiful. All right, you guys, we have made it to the end of the tour. I hope you enjoy checking out the Bath Garden Center. They have so much cool stuff right now, especially all the Hoya. They have a lot of Hoya right now. I don't think I've ever seen so many there before. Like I had to stop and just like, I didn't record it obviously, but I had to stop and like ask one of the ladies working there like all about the Hoya and how often they get them in. She said they are pretty darn seasonal when they get the Hoya in. So I will definitely be checking them out over the next like coming months here to see if they get any more cool Hoya in because they had a really large section. So I did pick one up. So let me grab it and show you what I got. Okay. It's so pretty, I just could not leave it behind. Okay, so I am like 98% certain of the name of this plant. What is that? I haven't obviously done anything for pests on this one. I just like kind of looked it over lately while I was there. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so <laughs> I'm pretty certain, pretty certain that this is the Hoya Kentiana variegata. <gasps> Look at that, and it is so nicely sun-stressed and pink. I just can't get over how pretty that is. Hopefully my camera is showing this to you well. If not, I will overlay some other footage here, but hopefully you can see just how beautiful, and it's already starting to trail, like just a little tiny bit. Um, this pot was $24.99 and it is in a four inch pot. It just says Hoya on there. Um, so, you know, it doesn't have the exact name on there, which is kind of unfortunate because, I don't know, I'm just, just <laughs> I guess it's only unfortunate because I'm a little bit lazy and that just means that I'm gonna have to look up exactly what this um, Hoya is. I already looked it up like before I purchased it just to like see if it was what I thought it was, but you know, I already forgot. So I'm pretty certain that this is the um, variegated Kentiana and it looks like it has something on it. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks like there's some sort of pest on it. Um, I bought it anyway. I did notice it at the store, but I did go ahead and decide to purchase this plant anyway because it's so pretty and I just haven't seen one anywhere in town this size, this sun stress, and for this price. They've always been like at least $40 to $50. So I couldn't resist and I'm really happy with my purchase. I'm hopefully um, it will start growing for me soon. All right, you guys, I guess I will leave it at that. It is starting to, uh, the sun is starting to set here. So it's getting really warm in this room. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for joining me on this nursery tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I'm getting a little bit better at these nursery tours. I'm still kind of figuring out the whole microphone thing and the confidence thing of like walking around and like just talking to myself essentially and talking to my phone and just like filming stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me and bearing with me through this kind of awkward duckling phase. And yeah, thanks for joining me and I will see you guys in the next video.